Hey friends, what's up? Kaz here. Welcome to my channel. Hopefully you guys are making it a great day. I'm glad that you're stopping in. I figured I would take a few moments just to let you guys know what it is I do here as well as answer some frequently asked questions that you guys always have. You can always jump uh, to them wherever the links are, and uh, jump around to all those questions. But anyway, I do Minecraft server tutorials once a week. Hopefully we'll be able to up that in the near future. And also I do random gameplay videos because I like to play video games. So that's me and what I do. Let's get into some questions. So these are the most common questions that I get asked all the time. If you are running a plugin and it, the plugin folder doesn't show up when you start your server, uh, it's showing up red in the plugin list. Now I don't have any examples here. Or if you go in and you're doing like phome or whatever, and it says unknown command, that means the plugin is failing to start. And the main thing that you need to do is check your console log. That would be the black box if you're running it locally, or if you're on a hosted, go to console. Or if you have access to the FTP, you can go to the logs folder and check your past console logs to figure out what's going on and you will see the plugin probably failed and the most most common version like 95 percent of the reason why that fails is because you're not running the correct version to minecraft definitely this became a problem after the 1.8 upgrade and all the uh the minecraft or moyang being sued and all that stuff but the other reason is because you're missing a supporting plugin or the supporting plugins on the wrong version. So make sure you, everything's all up to date and you've checked the author's website, Bucket or Spigot, for the version that they say that it should work with. You can always check your Minecraft version by doing uh, version and it will tell you the exact version. And if you're on Spigot, it'll tell you how many versions you are behind, which is really nice. Now, the next most common question I get asked is, hey, my configuration file keeps resetting itself. That is because you're putting in an error when you edit your config file. That's like you're adding extra space, you're doing tabs instead of space, you're missing a colon, that's my most common mistake, or a comma, or something like that. It's called bad, bad syntax, and the plugin is having an issue, and to save itself from fully crashing it's reset itself back to default you can check your changes before you run your plugin by copying your entire config file into a yml yaml checker online link is in the jibbles there's a great one it's also being pictured on the screen that's what i always use that's the best all right the next is my bungee cord is not connecting or i'm getting an ip forward uh note that i need to enable ip forwarding now the first one is you need to enable ip forwarding in your bungee cord config the second thing to realize is that bungee cord is not a minecraft server it's a connection handler between minecraft servers so it's its own server it doesn't run minecraft it just points to servers so your users connect to your bungee cord and then that directs them to your lobby server which is not your bungee cord server so if you're in a host environment bungee cord needs its own hosting plan and then they also need to be able to communicate so if you're running your bungee cord at home and you have your servers on a hosting plan or on a friend's server you need to make sure all the ip forwarding all the firewalls all that stuff is allowing that port and connection between them also this only works with spigot it does not work with bucket so you need to have spigot which is fantastic so the next question is can't build or can't interact uh you're getting a notice like can't interact with something that's because you're running essentials anti-build remove it or set it up i highly recommend just removing it because it has problems with stuff or you have spawn protection that's in your server.properties folder you can set that to zero and get rid of that or you have some other sort of plugin that you don't know about that's come that's overtaking your land config towny grief protect protection factions those are just a few to name uh those all have to do with that permissions maybe you're using pex i know i noted this in the permissions plugin tutorial or pex plugin tutorial but it still get asked all the time you you installed pex you can't run any pex commands that's because you haven't gotten into config and enabled it for ops it's not enabled by default it's one of the only plugins i know that doesn't enable all the commands for ops which is kind of a bummer the author's not going to change it that's how it goes or you go into your console and you run pex 
space user, space your username, space add, space permissions dot star in order to get access to all those configs or just dot st or just star because that'll give you access to all permission nodes ever. The other thing is you can't do stuff if you're not op that's because you haven't set up your permission nodes the most important plugin to set up if you're running a public server is your permissions plugin it handles your permission nodes which each permission node is associated with a certain in-game command or access to in-game stuff that's how you handle ops and mods being able to mute other people and then regular players not being able to do that so uh each Command usually has a permission node that's associated with that plugin. So plot me dot whatever, um, hub basics dot whatever, uh, bycraft dot whatever, all those plugins, that's what that means. And you have to add those to groups and you have to assign users to groups. Now you can assign permission nodes directly to users, but it's usually better just to use groups. And then if you're still having troubles, you need to run some commands to check and double check that they're in the right group in the right world and there's nothing else that's interfering with that if you're using group manager i highly recommend that you switch over to permissions x or pex because group manager has not been updated in about two years and pex is still being updated the other question i get asked is pre prefixes aren't showing up do you have a chat plugin you need a chat plugin not just a permissions plugin to handle your your prefixes now most of the time people use essentials now you need to make sure you have the most up-to-date version of essentials that would be essentials x and not the one from the essentials website because they have not updated it in about two years so download that make sure you have essentials.jar and essentials chat.jar and then that section of your essentials config will show up and you can modify the chat now other culprits of this is you have a factions plugin that's overriding your chat set up your chat in there or townie does it or um, i don't know of any others off the top of my head but those are the two big culprits also multiverse adds a world prefix by default so you have to go in the config and set that to false so key to that is set up your chat plugin make sure you're on the right version next question that i always get asked can you give me the premium plugin you just did a tutorial of no i don't endorse stealing from people who work hard the next question i get asked can you connect can you connect to my server and help me out with this can you give me your skype sorry guys my time is super limited this is simply a hobby of mine and i cannot do that be sure to reach out to the authors of the plugins they're the ones who probably be able to help you out even better than i could given some of them might not be supporting their plugin anymore, which is kind of a bummer. Sorry. You just got to start Googling it on some forums and asking for uh, some other insight. What do I use for recording software? I get to ask that a lot. My OBS is what I use for desktop recordings. Um, and then for in-game, I use Fraps. I just found it super easy. It's something that's always reliable. I really enjoy Fraps. Yes, I did have to pay for that. OBS is free, so if you're on a budget, be sure to use OBS for editing. I use Sony Vegas Pro, however, it's way overpowered for what I use it for, and uh, I wish I would have just stuck with Sony Movie Studio. With that being said, Sony Movie Studio is fantastic. It's about 50 bucks. Highly recommend it. And the last question I guess I asked is where do I play Minecraft? I play Minecraft on play.mcfriends.us. It's a community that I started. Now I'm just kind of a part of it as far as interacting and playing with that. It's run by, it is me, Joey, right now. Uh, but you'll see me there playing Minecraft from time to time. And uh, that's about it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. And we'll definitely see you guys around. This is Kaz reminding you guys all, enjoy the game. Bless. Time to get out. Time to. Okay, no, we're getting stuck. Getting stuck. Duck and weave. Duck and weave. This was a bad idea. Let's go downstairs. More of them downstairs.